Hi, this is Kenny Lee, and today we're going to do an energy of a pendulum lab. I've got a pendulum here and a photo gate timer. What we're going to do is we're first going to measure the height of this pendulum at this lowest point. That will be where its potential energy is zero. We're going to pull the pendulum back to a height, measure that, and then let it go through the photo gate timer. And we're going to use the diameter of the pendulum bob, which is two and a half centimeters or 0 0.025 meters. We're going to get its time as it swings by its lowest point with the distance and the time or the diameter of the pendulum bob and the time. We're going to figure out its velocity. We're going to take the difference in the original height, H1, let's call this in H2, it actually falls from H1 to H2, so we're going to take the difference in those two, that would be the height for the potential energy equation, potential energy is mass times gravity times height, the height is going to be H2 minus H1, because it doesn't go all the way to the table, it just goes all the way down to its lowest point here, and we're going to compare the potential energy and the kinetic energy and see how close they come to each other. So to start off with, we need a little bit of data. Well, first of all, the diameter of the pendulum bob is two and a half centimeters, so 0 0.025 meters. The photogate timer, we're going to set up so that the middle of the beam goes through the middle of the pendulum bob. So we can measure that entire distance there and get the time. And we also need to measure H1. So the middle of the pendulum bob is, let me get the right end, 16 centimeters above the tabletop. So 16 centimeters above the tabletop. We put the photo gate there. Now, I've got it set up on gate, so it's already starting to run. Pull this back, reset the time, and I'm going to first drop it from 25 centimeters. I'm only going to let it go through the gate once, so that we get the time of just the pendulum bob. Okay, ready? H2 is 25 centimeters. And the time was 0 0.0188. 0 0.0188. Now for our second drop height, we're going to drop it from 35 centimeters above the table. I've reset this, the photo gate timer, so here we go. The time for this one is 0 0.0137 seconds. Zero point zero one three seven seconds. The mass of pendulum bob is sixty grams, so point zero six kilograms. From the data that we have, you should be able to figure out the velocity at the bottom by taking the diameter of the pendulum bob and the time it took to go through. That would be your velocity, and since you know the mass. You can take that velocity and the mass to figure out the kinetic energy it has at the bottom. Take the difference between H2 and H1. Use that in the potential energy equation to figure out the potential energy of the pendulum bob when I had it pulled back. Because it actually falls just that distance. And figure out its potential energy. And then compare its potential energy at the top to its kinetic energy at the bottom. And see how close they match. Alright, thank you, and we'll do some more labs later on. Bye.